Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English communication class. This is your teacher, Jenny. Our lesson for today is all about verb, auxiliary verb, and modal verb. But before we studied auxiliary verb and modal verb, we're going to discuss first the meaning of the word verb. In your idea, what do you think is the meaning of the word verb? What things or what do you think that comes out to your mind is the meaning of this word? Because from time to time, if we say a sentence or if we discuss something, there are verbs included in the sentence. So what do you think is the meaning of this word? Do you have any idea? Verb or verbs, a word used to describe an action or state and forming the main part of the sentence. Look at this meaning. There are two words which I pinpointed out. The word action or state. These two words also have such meaning, but we have to dissect or we have to look the meaning of these two words, the action verbs and state verbs. Verb has its action verb and it has state verb also. Action words or action verbs simply express an action. So meaning it is more an action. When you say action such as running, it's an action word. Playing card is an action word. Playing guitar is an action word. So the action is something that subject of the sentence or class. It is also doing and includes sleeping, sitting, and napping. So even though there is no movement, this three, this three word as an example, sleeping, sitting, and napping, they are belong to a non-action word or non-action verb because they do nothing, but they belong to the word of verbs. They are still an action, though there is no any movement that is being done in that word. Action verb is an activity performed by the subject. Okay, I have some action words example here, like skateboarding, that is an action word. Counting from one, two, three, four, and the like, those are action words. Fishing, of course, you know what is fishing is. An action word, going to gymnasts, um, exercising, dancing, cycling. So all of these examples or the slide that you are um, reading and uh, looking at are examples of action verb. Let me give you some example for the word 
action verb. Okay, I have here three examples for action verb. Remember, when we say action word or action verb, we are stating the word that be is what? Very good. You're doing something or even though you're not doing something, but if that words such as read. So when you read, you're not doing something, but you're using your eyes, you are reading. Like in number one, children reads book regularly. The word reads here, of course, stating the action verb. I make it into a red mark or red color so that you can easily understand the word that is being used or action verb. Number two, Superman is flying in the sky. Now, what is Superman is doing? He is flying in the sky. So the word flying is action verb. Number three, I ride bicycle regularly. Ride is the action verb. Why? Because you're doing it on your own. Maybe you're doing a bicycle every day, or if you don't want to say ride, you can say you are what? Driving a car, or if you don't want to say bicycle. So as long as there is a word that is belong to action verb, you can use it here. Okay. Now, State verb. State verb is a verb shown the feelings, description, or emotion on the situation of the subject. So, when we say state verb, you are telling here your emotion, your description. Okay, let me go on again here. Number one, he feels happy today. So the boy is feeling happy. So feels is the state verb. So the subject he is stating what is describing about the boy. He feels happy, feels is the emotion. On the second example, is I am a boy. You are describing who is in the sentence. If the picture is boy, you cannot put it there. I am a girl, but the picture is boy. So you are describing on the second example of our state verb. Number three is he is a policeman. Now you are describing who is that man is. You are describing his uniform. You're describing him. Ah, oh, he is a policeman. And the picture, you cannot say he is a fireman because the picture shown that he is a policeman. Now, if you look back again to those words, feels, boy, policeman, they are description. These are descriptions. We are describing the verb in the sentence. Now, in the verb, there are two main parts. The main verb and auxiliary verb. In auxiliary verb, there is also a modal verb, but we're going to discuss the main verb first. Main verb is something like this. Okay. 
these are examples of main verbs like read, shines, ran, stop. Main verbs, words that actually show the action or activity of the subject, a word that can stand alone. So let us go back to our examples here. When you say read, it can stand alone because you can easily understand this word immediately even though there is no complete sentence in that word. We can say, I read, he read, she reads. Because read, you can easily understand what is that word for. So it can stand alone. Shines can stand alone too, like sunshine, shine. You can easily understand, oh, the weather is good. You can easily give the meaning for that word immediately. No need to form a sentence in order for you to understand the meaning of that simple word. Run. Stop. These are only the examples of main verb. Again, main verb, a word that can stand alone. Example of main verb as what we uh, discussed a while ago. Number one, sunshine. Because we have here, we have discussed the word sun, shine. So sunshine, so easily, that is the water. Bus stop. So we have stopped a while ago. So we can, we, we can put it here, car stop, bus stop. So when you say stop, meaning the moving is stop. So meaning uh, you can control it immediately. You can understand immediately the word itself. No need to elaborate. No need to put any sentences or any words in order for you to understand this simple words. Car ran. Ran is the main verb. The subject is car and the main verb is ran. So you can easily understand. So again, main verb is a word that actually shows the action or activity of the subject. A word that can stand alone. Now, how about auxiliary verb? Auxiliary verb is a verb give more meaning to the main verb. This word cannot stand alone. So, if we were going to compare main verb to auxiliary verb, even though you will use not is so many words in a sentence like it, sleep, talk. Those are main verbs because you can easily understand and explain the meaning of that word. But in auxiliary verb, for example, such as is, has, do, did, these are just only a helping word to main verb. If you want to make your main verb into a sentence, you need auxiliary verb or a helping verb. Okay, let's go on with this example. Did they like the film? This is auxiliary verb because it cannot stand alone. Like is the main verb. Like can stand alone. I like it. You mean when you say like, so you can easily understand, oh, maybe it's a food or it's um, a film maybe. 
or something else where you go like so you can easily understand while if you were going to say did so you will think what do you mean by that because did cannot stand alone that is auxiliary verb okay let me go on did they like the film auxiliary verb is did they is the subject because you are talking about the subject and the main verb is like the film number two is is auxiliary verb because is cannot stand alone is she coming to the picnic coming is main verb because you can easily understand the word of that coming without the help of other words she is the subject so because we're talking to the person and auxiliary verb is is because is can stand alone so what she is what we what we are looking for her is she coming so she can help is a helping word you help the main verb in order for the subject subject to be understand okay Number three, have you seen my pen? Auxiliary verb have subject. You seen my pen is the main verb. So meaning here, main verb helps the auxiliary verb or auxiliary verb help the main verb. Even though there is no auxiliary verb in the word come or coming, coming can stand alone, but is cannot stand alone like is main verb can stand alone but did cannot stand alone so did is auxiliary verb sin is main verb while auxiliary verb have cannot stand alone so these are the difference between main verb and auxiliary verb now we have here the modal auxiliary verb. This is also an auxiliary verb, but auxiliary verb that expresses the necessity or the possibility that may happen. So in a sentence, when you read a sentence having these examples, such as will, shall, or may, can, could, might, must, and many things. These are modal auxiliary verb, meaning what will be happen, that is the possibility, what will be the possible outcome, or what will be the possible happen to the sentence. So these words express the possibility to happen. Okay, example for the sentences that using modal auxiliary verb. Okay, here, bus may stop. Bus is the subject, may is modal auxiliary verb, stop is the main verb. Even though you will not going to put may or the middle term here, the modal auxiliary, even though you remove it, bus stop, they can stand alone. Main verb can stand alone, but bus cannot stand alone. The subject cannot stand alone. So what happened to bus? What happened to the bus? May, possibility that the bus may stop right now. May meaning you didn't know that if that bus will stop or not. So that is the possibility that will happen to the bus. That's why the modal auxiliary verb is may. That is the possibility if the bus will stop or not. They must eat. Must is auxiliary verb, modal auxiliary verb. Because must, they have to eat the food. They must have to eat the food. But even though 
you remove mask, they eat. It's a complete thought. It's a complete sentence because there's a subject and there's a main verb wherein the main verb can stand alone. Now, can you identify now what is main verb and auxiliary verb and also model auxiliary verb? Of course. Before we proceed, I would like to say again, the main verb can stand alone. Modal auxiliary verb. This is the possibility that will happen to the sentence. And of course, the auxiliary verb is a helping verb. For our recap, what we've learned in this videos regarding verb, of course, verb, as what we've said a while ago, we dissect it into action verb and state verb. Action verb is a word or an action word that state the thing that you doing something, or even though there is no movement or just only the demonstrative, it's also an action verb. While state verb is a verb that is stating your feeling, your emotions, and describing the um, personality or describing the subject in the sentence. That is the state verb. And of course, we studied here the main verb. Main verb can stand alone while auxiliary verb is a helping verb. Oh, I forgot to put here the modal auxiliary verb. Again, modal auxiliary verb is a verb that can be happened or the possibility that will be happened to the sentence. Okay, but before I uh, proceed, before I say goodbye, I have here a question or we can get a paper and a pen and please answer this. I have six questions here. Circle the auxiliary or modal verb and underline the question word. Okay, in number one, what do you think is the auxiliary verb? Again, when we say auxiliary verb, is a helping word or a helping verb. Yes, in number one, the answer is R. That is the auxiliary verb. Because in the, sense, in the question word, are you happy? So we were going to underline the question word, you happy? And circle R. And in number two, after number six, you have to answer it. Okay? Until our next lessons. Again, do not forget the word verb because that is very important in our lesson. Thank you for now.